In the frozen landscapes of the Arctic, where biting winds and bone-chilling temperatures are the norm, the igloo stands as a remarkable testament to human ingenuity and survival. But how do these icy dwellings manage to keep their inhabitants warm? Let's unravel the secrets of the igloo's warmth. At first glance, an igloo may appear as a simple, dome-shaped structure made of blocks of ice and snow. However, this deceptively basic design holds within it a genius solution for maintaining warmth. The igloo's construction consists of tightly packed snow blocks, which, when properly assembled, create an insulated haven against the frigid cold outside. How can snow, a material we associate with cold, keep us warm inside an igloo? Here is the answer, snow is a natural insulator. Its many tiny air pockets trap heat and prevent it from escaping, much like a down-filled winter jacket. In the case of the igloo, the snow blocks are strategically arranged to exploit this insulating property. The outside layer of the igloo acts as a barrier to the harsh arctic winds, while the inner layer keeps the warmth generated by the occupants from dissipating into the cold surroundings. The primary heat source within an igloo is, quite literally, the people who inhabit it. The human body constantly generates heat through metabolic processes, maintaining a stable internal temperature of around 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit that is 37 degrees Celsius. In the confined space of the igloo, this body heat becomes a precious commodity, warming the interior and offsetting the external cold. So, how can our body heat alone make such a difference in a place where temperatures can drop far below freezing? Well, the design of the igloo is not haphazard, it takes into account both the need for warmth and the necessity of ventilation. An igloo typically features a low entrance tunnel that serves as a windbreak and prevents the loss of heat. This tunnel also keeps the interior warmer by allowing occupants to enter and exit without exposing the entire interior to the cold air outside. A small ventilation hole is often created at the top of the igloo. This hole serves two vital purposes, it allows moisture and carbon dioxide, generated by the occupant's breath, to escape, preventing condensation on the inner walls and ensuring a continuous supply of fresh air. This clever ventilation system helps maintain a comfortable and safe environment inside the igloo. In traditional Inuit culture, igloos were often shared by several people or families, further enhancing their warmth. The collective body heat of multiple inhabitants contributed to a more comfortable interior temperature. This shared warmth, combined with the insulating properties of the igloo's snow blocks, allowed people to withstand the extreme cold of the Arctic. While modern heating systems and advanced building materials have largely replaced the igloo in today's Arctic communities, these iconic structures continue to symbolize the resourcefulness and adaptability of indigenous cultures. The igloo's ability to harness the insulating power of snow and the warmth of the human body remains a testament to the ancient wisdom of those who called the Arctic home. So, in the heart of the icy wilderness, where temperatures plummet and winds howl relentlessly, the igloo endures as a symbol of human resilience. But how did these ancient builders create such a cozy haven in the midst of extreme cold? The answers reveal the remarkable ways in which humans have adapted to their surroundings and harnessed the power of nature to keep warm. We hope you enjoyed this exploration with Loop and Go. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for future curious adventures.